Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Just wanted to uh, let you hear a little bit about a, an album that I listened to recently. Um, great hard rock band. Uh, love the cover of this one. This is Blood Rock USA. Uh, just in the mood for some heavy, heavy rock. Um, these guys are uh, from Texas, if I'm not mistaken. As all <laughs> hard rock bands seem to be these days. Um, yeah, uh, Texas, yeah. Um, Blood Rock, great band. Um, I wanted to join in on Jeff Calico Silver's thread, sorry, um, 15 questions about the Beatles. Uh, <laughs> this may be a controversial one um, with some people, but uh, I'm going to do my best to answer these questions as much as possible. So yeah, check out uh, Blood Rock, uh, great hard rock band. Nice gatefold. Um, I'm not sure when this came out, um, but it is on Capital Label, Green Capital Label. But uh, yeah, just the cover alone is cool. Okay, so let's uh, get started in on these questions. Um, I've got all the discography of, of the, the studio albums, the UK studio albums of the Beatles. Um, and uh, we'll give it a shot. The only, I'm not sure if this is a, U, a US uh, version, but this is about maybe the only US version I have is the Beatles 65. Um, but everything else I have is the UK version. Uh, so, uh, first question, uh, red or blue? So, got the red and the blue. Um, I'm going to go with the red on this one because I love all the early hits. Um, and I think I prefer uh, listening to the deeper tracks uh, that are on the blue album uh, as as part of a complete album uh, so i think uh, they're cool the the red album uh cool two or three minute songs less than three minute songs um uh, it's the early stuff and, and that's kind of the uh the stuff i i really like uh whether it be them or the Yardbirds or or all those early english uh bands um i think the red album would be uh, my favorite so US or UK, uh, as I said, I have all the UK version, uh, so I'm not familiar with the US versions of, of the studio albums, but um, I have uh, all, their, all their studio albums on, on UK version. Uh, number three, um, the first two albums, uh, Please Please Me or With The Beatles. That was a hard one. Uh, so with Please Please Me, um, Please Please Me, or With the Beatles. Uh, two great albums. So you got Please Please Me. Um, I love, I saw her stand in there. Um, and the rhythm and Anna Go to Him. I just love that track. Uh, and The Boys, uh, really great song. Uh, Please Please Me, the title track. Uh, love Me Do. And uh, the classic Twist and Shout. Um, then you compare that against uh, with the Beatles. Uh, you've got It Won't Be Long, All My Lovin', uh, Please Mr. Postman. Yes, it's a cover, but still a great song. Roll Over Beethoven, another cover, but still a great song. Um, 
I love You Really Got a Hold on Me. I just love the rhythm of it. I could picture, I don't know, certain 50s dances or 60s dances, them, them dancing to that type of thing. Um, the guitar parts in uh, I Want to Hold Your Hand, uh, sorry, I Want to Be Your Man. And of course, money, that's what I want. So uh, if I have my choice based on just one extra song uh, over Please Please Me, I'd go with uh, with the Beatles on that one. Next. Um, <laughs> Jeff, you're really pushing us here. Uh, uh, last two albums, Let It Be or Abbey Road. Um, this is where the controversy might come in. I'm not sure. But uh, you got Abbey Road, of course. I have it in CD, this. I've got it in picture disc. I've got the poster on the wall. I've got a calendar in my kitchen. Um, and course let it be uh, so <clears throat> let it be it's a it's a looser album of course um, they didn't really give a crap they were just putting an album together they were having fun you could hear them laughing you can hear them joking um, it was more of a live uh, studio album um, and again, they were just having a good time. You could tell they were getting along. They were having a good time. They put all their effort into that uh, final. Um, yeah. So you got uh, Dig a Pony. Awesome stuff. Um, and uh, um, I Me Mine. Love that one. Uh, classic Let It Be, uh, I Got a Feeling, um, Rockin' One After 909, uh, the guitar work on Four Year Blue, it's a great blues track as well, uh, Get Back of course with Billy Preston, and uh, uh, of course the, 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 the piano work with Billy and uh, of course the awesome, the awesome lead work in that song as well. Uh, and then you get come, um, Abbey Road, you got Come Together, um, Something, beautiful song, Something, Oh Darling, I Want You See So Heavy, Because, You Never Give Me Money, <laughs> Sun King, Mean Mr. Mustard, Polly Ann Pam, or Polythene Pam, She Came In Through the Bathroom Window, and The Amazing The End, I mean, um, as good as Let It Be is, uh, Abbey Road just blows them out of the water, uh, it really is, is a fantastic album, um, so I'm going to go with, uh, with Abbey Road. Going to go with Abbey Road on that one. Uh, number five. Um, favorite disc off the White Album. Uh, got two versions of the White Album. One with uh, black vinyl and one with white vinyl. Um, one on the Apple label, one on the uh, uh, Capital label. But um, what side? So um, back in the USSR, of course, Dear Prudence, uh, Glass Onion, While My Guitar Gently uh, Weeps, um, Martha My Dear and Blackbird, beautiful song. It's, it's been done by so many people. And uh, Rocky Raccoon. Um, but then that's on side one, two. If you look at it that way, uh, three, four, you got your birthday, uh, your blues, which I absolutely love. Uh, everyone's got to uh, something to hide. Sexy Sadie, um, Helter Skelter, of course, con the the confrontational song, uh, of course, having to do with Charles Manson, loving that song and uh, that whole um, thing with Charles Manson. Uh, Revolution number one. Savoy Truffle, and then a fitting end, uh, Good Night. Uh, so I'd have to go with uh, the disc two or side three, side four. It's just got the better tracks on it. Um, side one's a little light, 
except for those ones I mentioned. If you could get rid of all the, the light stuff on both sides and just leave those songs, uh, and I think it'd be a fantastic album, maybe a, a, just one album or one vinyl. Uh, most underrated album. Well, this was a difficult one because I love them all individually. Um, but I'd have to go with... Um, what did I go with? Yeah, I knew, thought, thought so, but where the heck is it? Um, oh, here it is. Um, I went with Help. Um, it's got a ton of songs on it. 13 tracks. Um, you got The Night Before. Of course, the title track, Help. You got To Hide Your Love Away, I Need You, uh, which are, have great harmonies. I love the brilliant sounds of the guitar. Uh, Ticket to Ride, of course, Act Naturally, Countryfied Ringo song. Uh, the piano into uh, the piano entry, sorry, into uh, You Like Me Too Much, and uh, the beautiful guitar work in uh, um, I've Just Seen a Face, um, and of course Yesterday. Uh, what what better song? I mean, Yesterday is just uh, one of those classic songs. And um, Dizzy Miss Lizzy, it ends with Dizzy Miss Lizzy. So from start to finish, a great, great album that's not talked too much uh, uh, about. And I think it's an underrated album for sure. Um, next, um, favorite cover song. I'm sorry, favorite album opener. Um, I had to choose a few and then bring it down to one final one so I, I i was looking at help back in the ussr it won't be long i saw her stand in there hard day's night that first opening chord drive my car uh but then i ended with um then i ended with taxman off the revolver album one of my favorite albums i don't know where it is right now it's in this pile <laughs> Jeez, I got albums all over the damn place. Here it is. Uh, one of my favorite albums. Um, this goes top three for sure. Um, but some days it's the top, some days it's third, it's some days it's all over the place. But uh, yeah, uh, favorite opener is Taxman. Um, so favorite cover song. Uh, so from With the Beatles... Um, with the Beatles uh, the favorite cover song is uh, Money, That's What I Want just love that track uh, it's a cool track uh, favorite George Harrison song I'm sorry, um, number nine uh, favorite song that uh, no one talks about Again, off Revolver, uh, Tomorrow Never Knows. Um, it takes you so many places. It's it's a psychedelic journey. It's a real cool... <laughs> it, I guess if you were on something, you'd uh, you'd be going places for sure. But yeah, so Tomorrow Never Knows is my uh, favorite song that no one talks about. Uh, number 10, uh, favorite George Harrison song. Um... And uh, off of um, Let It Be, I Me Mine. Uh, it's, uh, it's such a great, I uh, love the vocals, love the guitar work. Uh, I love when it kicks in halfway through. Um, gritty, gritty guitar sound on this one as well. Um, it just shows how good of a guitar player he is. And uh, not a bad vocalist as well. So I, Me, Mine, my favorite George Harrison song. Um, number 11. <laughs> it, 
this is another hard one. If I could have one album to take with me, I assume like on a desert island or something. Uh, I couldn't choose a studio album. I'd have to choose the Blue Album. Uh, and that would remind me of the studio albums and, and the songs mixed in with all these these great songs. Um, but that's the one I would take with me. Uh, I know a lot of people have chosen the White Album. Um, I think that would get overplayed or too, too, too much. This one gives you a nice variety. There's so many great songs on this one. And uh, I think that's the one I'd take with me. Uh, <laughs> this is maybe where the controversy is going to take place. Um, so, Sergeant Pepper's or uh, Their Majesty's um, uh, The Stones album. Um, I have to choose Sergeant Pepper's. Um, I'd have to choose Sergeant Pepper's. The Majesty's Request, sorry. Yeah, I'd have to choose Sergeant Pepper because I don't have the Stones' Majesty's Request. So I would choose this one. But, <laughs> this one, sorry I'm going all over the place, um, or Pet Sounds. Um, so with, with Sergeant Pepper's, uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, of course, A Day in the Life, it's a classic, uh, it's a story on its own, um, you can just picture, um, the loneliness in the song, the, the, it, yeah, it's just amazing. And uh, it's one of the strongest pieces of work ever ever written, probably. Um, but the rest of the album I'm not big on. Um, with pet sounds, again, you got to take it aside. You got to you you got to look at it on its own. Uh, wouldn't it be nice? You still believe in me? Let's go away for a while. Sloop John B. Uh, my favorite, God Only Knows. I just love that song. Uh, here today. And um, uh, hang on to your ego. <laughs> I think this is a stronger album. I really do. So don't hate me. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Um, number 13. Uh, what Beatles book would you recommend to someone who has never read a Beatles book? Well, I'm one of those that haven't read a Beatles book, but I do love documentaries. And if I was to recommend anyone, I'd look at the documentary Eight Days a Week by Ron Howard based on the live uh, at Hollywood Bowl performances and, and leading up to that concert. I think it's a, it's amazing documentary. Uh, saw it in the theater, um, which was awesome as well. But if I was to recommend um, a book, I can't do that because I haven't read a book about the Beatles. I've read a bunch of stuff about them. I just don't own any books. I'm not a reader. I can read, but I'm not a reader. So I'd recommend this documentary and finally um, sorry second last question uh, which 70 albums uh, do you prefer you got the Plastic Ono Band McCartney um, a Sentimental Journey All Things Must Pass or Bouquet, uh, bouquet or Bouquet of Blues. Um, I'd have to choose, because I have it, I don't have the others, uh, this one here. Um, it's, it's Ringo uh, 
that he just loves uh, country music. Uh, it's the second album by Ringo, released in 70. I think it was the second in like three months or four months. This is his first one. Um, a lot of country and western themes throughout the, the album. He's a big fan of that genre. And he recorded in three days in Nashville. Uh, you got Charlie Downs on guitar. You've got Jerry Reed on guitar. Jerry Reed's an amazing guitar player. And uh, Jor the Jordan Harris is backing vocals. So it's a great album. Uh, love it. Um, I can't speak for the others because I don't have them. And uh, same with the last question. I don't have any. Even though I have it on Spotify and I have it in my... Um, in my cart to buy. Uh, favorite album by Badfinger. Uh, I don't have, I don't own any Badfinger. But I choose straight up because that's what I've been listening to by them. Um, you got Baby Blue, love that song, of course. Um, uh, you've got uh, Sweet Tuesday Morning, uh, Day After Day, another big hit. Uh, the Rockin' Sometimes and It's Over. So many good songs on that album. I'd have to choose that one if I had a choice. So there you have it. Um, <laughs> uh, hopefully it didn't cause much controversy uh, on this one. As uh, when you talk about the Beatles, it can very easily. But uh, I'll be putting um, Jeff's link below to his channel. He's got a fantastic channel. Fantastic guy. Super, super knowledgeable. And a uh, great guy. He, gives, he leaves the best comments as well. Um, and uh, there you have it. Have yourself a wonderful day, and thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>